it is Jack Gill and welcome back to Redmen Academy. Uh, it's the video you've all been waiting for. It is get to know Mateusz Muzielowski, Muzielowski, however you want to pronounce it. I'll probably get crucified for saying one or the other. So why not say both? I am joined uh, by James McHale and Elliot Ben, or you may know him as the F9 Torres uh, on, on Twitter uh, for this one. Um, I'm going to get straight into it, James. 17 years old. Uh, Polish under-17 international, I believe he may have moved up to the under-18s now. Signed him on in August 2020 from SM SMS Lodz. Um, what a player, James. Brilliant talent, isn't he? You know, really smart addition to the club. He addresses something that we haven't really got in that team where we're talking about a raw one-on-one -on -one talent. And I'm sure we'll get on to that later, the players that he's in a similar profile to. But he's just, he's so exciting when you watch him carry the ball. He's always looking to run into that space, exploit the space that defenders leave behind them. And it's just, it's brilliant when you look at the transition to play because he'll go into that, those channels, he'll make those runs and then it brings then other players into play and it creates problems for the opposition. Absolutely. Uh, Elliot, he's got two goals and an assist in eight games for, for Liverpool's under-18s. Um, we spoke obviously before going on air. Uh, we, we won't tell them that we've done this video once before. Um, but, you know... He's, he's an incredibly flashy player. He, he, he's easy on the eye. His skills on the ball are mesmeric. You know, he's he's a really, really exciting player to watch. Yeah, I think two goals, one assist is good, but I don't think that does his just... Well, I'll have to do that a bit again. Um, so, obviously, he's picked up two goals and one assist, but that one versus Leeds in the 5-0 win at Melwood, I mean, that was that was a, a stunner of a goal. He took it past, must be in two or three players, and then just... Just place it in the top corner. It's top top quality goal. Yeah, James, he's he's a really really exciting player, and and there's there's so much to love about his game. But but let's for, mm -hmm. for a couple of minutes before before we dissect him uh, and his qualities, let's talk about stuff he can can improve on. So the obvious ones are, are his fitness and and his physicality. Mm -hmm. Um, we know obviously he had that long-term injury last season and, and you know Liverpool are, are making sure that we maintain his fitness. He very rarely plays 90 minutes a game. Um, but also his the defensive work could, could be with a, a few improvements. Yeah, definitely. But I think that defensive you know-how know, know -how will come with the physicality because he's not going to throw himself into challenges when you know he's still trying to you know build up his fitness, build up probably a little bit of muscle as well. You know, he didn't start a game I've got here until that Leeds match. He'd only played a few minutes here and there until that point. So, you know, it's about getting him used to the way we're playing first and then addressing those sort of deficiencies in his game later on, you know. But once he got that start in the team, he got, you know, he scored in consecutive matches, got an assist in the next, and, you know, he was subbed off against Manchester United, but he still had an impact in that first half. And, you know, he's, he's someone who you look to to make an impact, you know, make a difference because he, he's just, he's such a unique player and, as a ball carrier, as someone who's going to punish the opposition if they switch off for half a second. Elliot, there's there's a lot of Liverpool fans that that you know take interest in in the academy that are excited by the Polish youngster. Um, it's easy to see why, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy to see why. But obviously, we have to look at it thinking: what do you need to get to the first team? And in his defensive contributions and the physicality, as you said, and before he gets to that point. I don't think it'll feature. Next year, maybe, you put on the muscle, it'll be fit after a, a season of play. And he missed all of last year. So, but but yeah, next year, he, he'll be ready for that for that little cameo that Harvey Elliott had the season prior, uh, the season before. Um, and I think, yeah, he's a, he's a real talent. And you can see why both us and Arsenal are in a race for him. So, Yeah, James, the the timing of the signing was was the big thing. Obviously, Brexit has changed football massively. It's changed academy football massively, uh, and we've still got a video to do on that. Uh, but you know, <laughs> it's it's one of them things where it looks like we've signed a real gem here. We've all identified, you know, the, the weaknesses he's got and and the, the 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 parts of his game that he needs to improve. But I have no doubt that in, in my mind that with, with 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 time, this lad will improve in those areas. And but 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 the key thing for him is ensuring that he can, he can stay fit because getting an injury like he like he did last season, uh, an age like he is, uh, can be a worry. Yeah, definitely. You know, as you know, you said it's a very smart addition. You are timing around it. I think it was now or never, really, wasn't it? It was either we wait and he goes to a Bayern Munich or he goes to another top European team who. 
you know, will develop and I've no doubt he'll become a top player. And so, you know, us along with Manchester United have made some very, very smart youth signings. And it's no surprise that we've really gone for someone who we think has a future because, you know, if you can only bring in a few players, you know, the final season, you're going to bring in the very best, you know, that your scouting department have recommended. And so, you know, only time will tell on how he does fitness-wise, how he does injury-wise, whether that injury that he had will have a lasting impact and how long it's going to take for him to get up to speed. Because, you know, it can take a player, you know, 18 months to recover from a long-term injury like that. But it's just about getting him playing, keeping the ball at his feet so that he can build on what he already has. It's a, it's a positive sign to see mm -hmm. how well we're managing him, in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. because, you know, as, as we've said before, he, he rarely plays 90 minutes, but... Uh, I think Elliot pointed out before we came on air, you know, the, the first 60 minutes of the game, you see him, you can tell he's on the pitch, he's he's, he's the one that draws you, you eye the most. And, and we have some incredibly exciting players in, in that under-18 side. Um, but, you know, once once that clock hits 60 minutes, you, you can tell he's a bit knackered at the minute. Mm -hmm. and that's something he needs to work on, Elliot. Yeah. Um, I mean, fitness will come with time, but it's, it's key that he has that on-the-ball ability because not many players can dribble the ball like him. Um, the way he just he picks it up and he can take it from one side of the pitch to another, creating chances, creating space, it's such an asset to be a top player in that under-18 side because we have numerous talents and to stand out on that side is, is, is something special. And there's a quote here for, from Mark, Mark Briggs Wilkinson here himself, um, who who wax who has waxed lyrical on 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 Muzielowski on, on on several occasions. Um, and, you know, he said he is a really good footballer. He can go past people one on one, link the game and play with others. So whether he plays centrally or off the side, won't bother him. Um, and, and that's the thing, isn't it, uh, James, too? You know, th this guy isn't just exciting on the ball. His diversity is also something that, that Jurgen Klopp and, and all the staff at Liverpool will love about him. If he can work on those things uh, that we've spoken about, it won't be long before we see this guy uh, in, uh, in alongside the first team. Yeah, definitely. I think what he said about playing century is going to be absolutely vital for him because, you know, obviously he usually plays on the right. You know, he's a right winger by trade, but we've seen him playing a little bit on the left when he's come into the team this season. And I think if he's going to six at Liverpool, having that, you know, that versatility is going to be absolutely imperative for him because obviously we have Harvey Elliott who's coming through on that right wing. And I think he's the undisputed now young player that's going to be coming through the system and looking to break into the first team. So having Musilowski being able to play on the left wing you know, it's it's what he's going to have to do and he's going to have to become very good at it very quickly because, you know, he's not really been getting, getting ahead of Harvey Elliott anytime soon in the form he's in, especially. Harvey Elliott, Leighton Stewart and Mateusz Muzielowski, Elliott, wouldn't be a bad front three for the future, eh? Oh, that would be an incredible front three. And then if we're adding Cade Gordon just slightly behind him, that would be a, that would be a wonderful quartet, yeah. Perfect. So, James... If if you were to to have five words to to describe Mozilovsky for for people that haven't seen him before, what would they be? I mean, you really put me on the spot. Yeah. I'd probably just go for the next big thing. You know, he's he's a bit of an unknown quantity, isn't he? You know, you don't really know what you're getting with him, but you know that he's going to have an impact. You know, he's the kind of player who you'd love to bring on in sort of the last 10, 50 minutes of the game, as opposed to Divock Origi, because he's going to cause absolute mayhem for Tyron defenders. He's as a fullback, he'd hate to be coming up against him after a long match purely because he's got so much speed and he's so good taking the ball either inside or outside. Elliot, you've had a bit longer than James had. Five words, go on. See, I was I wasn't expecting this question, and when I was when you when you asked James, I was <laughs> dreading it. Um, I mean, I likened him to a mini version of Hazard because of the way the ball sticks to his feet. So something along the lines of. Mini Hazard will, will do. I know it's only two words, but I can't think of much more. I, I tell you what, he's got big shoes to fill with with with, with us waxing lyrical about him. Um, but it, it's just the general consensus and, and general feelings of, of many Liverpool fans. You know, he's, he's a very, very exciting player and he's one that I'm really intrigued to see him for, for the next couple of years and what happens. Undoubtedly, in, in my opinion, he'll be up in, in the under-23s with Barry Lutus next season if he if he can stay fit and, and healthy for the rest of the season. Um, and as we say, there's, there's obvious things for him to work on. And, and if he does do that, he will become a hell of a player. Um, thank you, lads, for joining me for this one. Next video we will do on James Balagizi. There you go, lads. I smashed Nailed it. it.
Um, and yes, thank you for watching. Um, what a player Mateusz Muzielowski could turn into a really, really exciting talent. And I suggest if you're a Liverpool fan that hasn't yet watched this guy, next time LFC under 18s are on, go and watch them, whether it be on LFC TV or whether, you know, we have some kind of normality and you can go back uh, to getting yourself at the academy. Thank you, lads, for joining me once again. Remember to like and subscribe. The, uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you uh, if you want to see more of us. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you soon. Ta-ra. Later.